I was having a really interesting conversation. It was more of a, it was an old-fashioned argument. Uh, between somebody I know, acquaintance. Uh, when I showed him my Revo, which is on charge just over there. Showed him my Revo. And uh, he said something very interesting and got me thinking. Which was... It, he can understand. It's like, well... He asked whether or not it was just a fun thing, um, to which I said, no, I do legitimately use it day to day. And he couldn't understand that and said, it, well, I can understand it if it was just a, a, a fun thing to do, but it just seems a bit, um, I don't remember the exact word he used now, but... A bit of a faff, um, inconvenience, uh, I think, is what he said. Not, not his exact word. Um, and I was thinking, well, I mean, obviously to each their own, right? To each his own. But the difference between a phone, which is there, um, compared to one of these one of, well, any of these machines, and I'm, you know, talking about a modern day thing, is that they aren't phones anymore. I mean, you can get, you can get laptops with data. So, you know, if you just had a SIM card with, with a number on it, you know, uh, then stick on Sailfish or something like that, even if you've just modified standard Ubuntu a little, you can get phone calls from it. So, is that a phone? I mean, this thing over here can do everything that a computer can, well, Windows, even more so if you do actually put Windows on it, which is more than possible. It's just unstable, and I presume and hope will become a lot more possible when uh, Windows for ARM gets the love with, that Microsoft has said it deserves. Uh, but the thing is, just, I mean, a laptop is a laptop. It doesn't make a good phone. These things don't make good phones. These things do. This is literally a phone. It has one job, send texts, make calls, and calls is a primary one, as you can imagine. Uh, but these things, these things are meant to be miniature laptops. These things are organizers. They get stuff done. You write on them. I mean, what a, what a glorious keyboard. You can't really do those things on a phone. For a start, you don't have a physical keyboard. And that's already, that's already a downside. This is landscape, not portrait mode. So already, I mean, look at the script writing software, for example. That's available for screenplays, that is. Um, yeah, they just don't work. Yes, it's A4 in portrait, so it's better, but the software for that just doesn't exist on Android. But of course, there are some, few, but they don't really work, and they don't have, unless you're willing to pay a lot of money for a subscription. Um, uh, for software, so I can't speak for those, and I only know of one or two off the top of my head. Couldn't tell you the names of them, though. Uh, you just do that on a computer. I mean, writing, I have tried, I have tried writing articles on a phone, on, on Android specifically. The answer is no, just no. Um, I mean, I was out this morning with this thing. Do you know why? Because it works with gloves, and that doesn't. So, <laughs> this is a multimedia machine. This isn't. Neither is this. Yes, you can get games for this. There are games on here. And you can get games on there. I have chess on that. Which is which is uh, an Oppo Find X5 Pro, by the way. Um... I mean, camera, great camera, ruined by software, 
as usual with mobile devices, default software, that is. And of course, if you use a third party, yes, you'll get the raw input from the camera, which is infinitely better, way better, but you won't have any of the special features. But why would I use my phone when I have a camera? You know, I'm serious about taking taking photographs. I am a photographer, after all. So, why would I take pictures on this thing, just any image, when I can just use my camera and there will be infinitely better quality, you know? I mean, I'm not going to talk about the disadvantages, of the physical reasons of why phones are terrible for photography, um, because that's not what this is about. It isn't a phone. It isn't supposed to be a laptop. It's supposed to be a palm top computer. You do, you know, you you have Word, Sheet, Data. You you have Agenda, which I'm not going to open for reasons. Time, Calculator. You have all everything, and custom, you know. Thoughts. I do want to do astrophotography uh, at some point, but I don't have a telescope. Uh, text editor, you know, just simple, simple text editor. Um, back check. Because why not? Navigator, yeah, which is, Navigator is really powerful. It's basically, think of an Ubuntu window manager, a Linux window manager. But, for epoch. And... The other thing about these is that you get all of this on 18 megahertz and it's all you need, literally all you need. Meanwhile, this thing is uh, over 2 gigahertz, I think, the CPU in here, and some programs, basic programs, lag. How does that work? Uh, and also optimization. This is more optimized than that is. These devices are much more optimized than this. And they have a feel of quality. And look, look, look how much better this is already from Android. And I even have a spell check in the corner. It's form, you know? Uh, yes, there should be a space in there. You know, Android is not made... Well, Android isn't made for mobile phones anyway. It was invented. It was invented for um, cameras, other other graphical interface for cameras, and then it ended up being bought by Google and turned into a phone OS, which is designed to be used in portrait. And this reflects in all of the programs. They're in portrait mode. Try using them in landscape mode. For sight, you don't have a physical keyboard made for that. And yeah, just. Do that on a Nokia with small keys? Okay, fine. On a phone? No. <laughs> These things are multimedia entertainment machines that just so happen to be able to use everything apart from run video editors because no good video editors exist because they've all been uh, mobile interfaceized, which makes them utterly useless and redundant in most cases compared to proper editing software. Unless you just want to cut and splice and do nothing else and take three quarters more of the time than you would take on an on a proper interface. Desi anyway, ranting now. Yeah, you can you can tell I've been down this road, can't you? And of course, that's all in portrait mode as well. Some of these editing programs really do not are really, really not optimized. Um their interfaces and not optimized for poor, uh, for landscape, which just makes it even worse. I ask you, would you prefer to use a device such as this with a great keyboard, a great screen, everything you could possibly want in front of you, sorry, need, not want, for journalism, for organizing, and the agendas are brilliant. They reflect a good old uh, agenda notebook. Or would you use this thing, which runs programs, opt which clearly would be much better in landscape mode, but don't. Don't, don't have any optimization for that. Calendar is one of them. I hate calendars on Android because they're just utterly ridiculous. They don't take any advantage of the screen size. They're tiny little boxes you can't see anything in. 
Yeah. Remember these lovely little things? Yeah, you don't get any of those anymore, do you? And it's just so much easier. Why would I want... And this is happening in Windows as well, and practical to use. Why on earth would I want five clicks when when you could do it in two? Or even just one? It doesn't make sense. Also, privacy is another one. This thing, there are only two ways, uh, sorry, three ways of interfacing with this. IRDA, Compact Flash, and Serial. This has infrared, so I can sync this to my contacts well, on the Vivo. I don't need to have a phone book over here, a phone book over here. Um, I don't need to have to search names and and have to worry about moving contacts from SIM to wherever. Bear in mind, of course, on Android, you can't move contacts in the default contacts application to your SIM card. Why? Oh, no, nobody moves SIM cards around anymore. If you're going to move contacts, oh, you just use a... You just use Oppo, Oppo Share, wouldn't you? Obviously. Or uh, Google Sync. No. What? It's, it just... <laughs> I use the Revo for all of my contacts. And then those get synced to this, which then goes on the SIM card. I'm sure there's some third-party application that allows you allows you to move your contacts over to the SIM. I'm not interested. I'm not going to faff around with a system that's more complicated, sorry, more complex to navigate and use when I could just have this. For my last argument is why... And this is for laptops. I have a really, an um, I have a really powerful desktop, um, which is the truth. It isn't, and has the specs, right? Why would I have a powerful laptop when I have a desktop? If I'm going to do anything that even touch encroaches on the work workhorse stuff that I do on my desktop, well. Well, I have a desktop for that, don't I? So why would I use my laptop when I have a far superior keyboard, far superior display, multiple monitors? Um, and it's the same argument that I have with my phone. Some people live on their phones. If I'm talking to you, I have a, I have a simple, simple comment, which is, which is, you blow my mind, particularly if it's iOS. You just blow my mind. I don't understand how you live like that. Let alone doing any of the computing stuff. Big respect on for anyone who does that. Because it's just nonsensical and utterly... The, the idea, the entire notion is utterly bizarre. Get a laptop. Even just get a Chromebook. I have one of these. I don't need a Chromebook. You know? The only thing I use this for is YouTube, Snicket, uh, Snapchat, which I don't use, um, but I have it installed. I have to have WhatsApp installed, because in true modern tech fashion, as what it is, uh, WhatsApp Web, right, WhatsApp for Windows, isn't actually WhatsApp. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful uh, frame for web I think the URL is web.whatsapp.com. So, as soon as I install it on here, or do anything, even if I remove the permissions to contacts on my phone for WhatsApp, uh, all of the names on WhatsApp web become numbers. Um, so I'm forced into having that. And with RCS, WhatsApp is completely redundant. Yes, uh, yes, um, uh, Apple aren't going to have encrypted RCS, but that isn't my problem. You're the one who bought an iPhone. I'm sorry, that's your problem. Um, onto into an ecosystem that, while people call it a walled garden, is actually a walled prison. <laughs> RCS is lovely. It is lovely. Um, not that I'm saying Android is bad, which it is, it's terrible, when you actually think about it. 
the form factor itself alone has ruined photography, but I'm very biased on that one because of people holding it like this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. And also not having a clue what they're doing, but that's, that's besides the point. Yeah, that's both, that's all my thoughts. Yes, this is completely unscripted. Could you tell? <laughs>